guys, Katie Hansen here from the Urbana Business Association, and today I'm with Bridget Lee Kalfas, the Public Information Director for Cranert Center for the Performing Arts, for our next installment of Around Town with EVA. Thank you for having us out today. Glad to be part. I've got four questions I have to ask you. Number one, what is Cranert Center? Well, Cranert Center is the nation's leading university-based arts presenter. It was built in 1969 through a generous gift of Herman and Elnora Cranert mm -hmm. and was actually designed by Max Abramovitz, the same architect as the Assembly Hall. Oh, wow. As an organization, we are now dedicated to the advancement of education, research, and public engagement through excellence and innovation in the performing arts. Oh, that's great. So what do people do when they come here? What, what, what is there for them to do? There's so much to do. You know, this is really an unprecedented facility. We have five levels. We have four formal theater spaces. We host about 50 professional visiting artists each season and hundreds of performances by academic departments in theater, dance, opera, and music. <laughs> And of course, there's lots of free activities and family fun activities. One of our great highlights here at the center is our biennial guitar festival called El Nora the Guitar Festival. Yeah. Uh, it'll be happening in 2011 and then again in 2013. Mm -hmm. And of course, the lobby is a great place to unwind, to meet up with colleagues. Mm -hmm. You can have breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a snack at Intermezzo Cafe, shop at the Promenade Gift Shop. And a lot of people like to join us on Thursdays at 5 o'clock for our free weekly wine tasting. Yeah, it's, it's so relaxing down there, so I definitely agree. How many theaters are there in here? Well, there's four theaters inside the space, and then we have the outdoor amphitheater, and we have the informal stage five space in the lobby, mm -hmm. and then we actually have several th uh, stages that we can set up uh, and move around the facility as well, so it's a very flexible space. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, when can people stop by? How do they get more information about Cranner Center? Absolutely. Well, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, the ticket office is open. And on weekdays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., the director's office is open. Mm -hmm. If people just want to get a flavor for the building, a great way to do that is during the academic year at 3 p.m. every day, we have a free tour of the facility. Okay. And, of course, 24 hours a day, you can join <laughs> us at CranertCenter.com. Absolutely. My last question is, do you have any fun facts about Urbana or about Cranert that you just would love to share? <laughs> we have a lot of fun facts here at the center. One of my favorites is that the Carrera marble that flanks our lobby walls was actually imported from Italy from the same quarry that Michelangelo used for many of his sculptures. Wow. And the center uh, occupies 10 acres, which is two city blocks, right here in the heart of campus. You can't miss it. <laughs> you can't miss it. It's a neat place to be a part of. We have one of the largest costume rental facilities in the nation. We have one of the most acoustic acoustically perfect concert halls here in the Folger Great Hall. So it's a great place to explore. Oh, absolutely. Is there anything else you wanted to share? We just want to make sure everyone knows that they're always welcome at Cranert Center and we can't wait to see them out at events coming up soon. Well, thank you so much, Bridget. And thanks everyone for tuning in for this installment of Around Town with the UBA.